Hot 103. I hate Winnipeg. Fine. I'm uh, Marvin Kaye. I'm one of the executive producers, co-creators, and writers on the show. Holy, good yeah, geez. It's, it's a lot of slashes. And you're from Winnipeg. I am originally from Winnipeg, yes. Very Born nice. Born in the North End. Well, the North. That always makes me sound tough. I'm actually, I was born in Garden City. I lived on the corner of Airlies and Buttercup, so it's not as tough as it sounds. Uh, so do you have anything to do with uh, choosing the Weaker Than song for the... Um, you know what? That song was always... Uh, we always wanted to try and incorporate something, uh, s- s- some good independent music from Winnipeg, and that song was always on our radar. And originally we weren't sure if it was quite right, and then everybody just started listening to it and loved it more and more and more. And I'm so glad, because it's... I think it's a great song, of course. Well, and the thing about Winnipeg, too, is we really don't, we don't take ourselves seriously enough to be offended by that, so. Yeah, well, and it's not an offensive <laughs> song. It's really, like, it's an ironic kind of love ballad to the city, and uh, it's some people, some people like, oh, the I hate Winnipeg refrain, and it's like, really, listen to the song. It's, it's really a love song about Winnipeg. That surprised me. I mean, the first, uh, first time I watched an episode, I, I was listening, and I kind of just went, what? But it yeah. was, uh, it was good. No, and like, if you, and you know, the song's called One Great City, and it's, uh, people, it, it's funny if you YouTube the concerts where they play it live, like you hear the whole chorus of people <laughs> with lighters going, I hate <laughs> it's, it's really, really funny. Uh, and I thought Confusion Corner as a logo was a pretty yes, good choice. Yes, that, that, was, that was really great. And someone, someone offered that up. It wasn't my original idea. Someone offered it up, and I just thought that's, that's beautiful. Let's, let's use it. And, and nobody thought it was real. Everybody thought it was just a made-up logo. Oh. I said, no, 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 that's a real, that's a real traffic, traffic <laughs> sign. actually a sign. It's a sign that looks like that. So why should people watch Less Than Kind? <laughs> because it's, I think it's one of the best shows on television. I mean, I, I'm a little biased yeah. because it's putting my kid through college. But, um, <laughs> but no, I, I, I was, when we saw all the, uh, the assemblies and the final edits, I, I was so proud. And, you know, I'm sitting beside, like, Mark McKinney and... and Maury Chaikin, these like fabulous actors with way more experience than uh, me, and uh, they're looking at me and they're going, you know, this is your first show. This is you lucked out. This is good. This is a really, really good show. So I'm really terrified of, of, of what might happen next <laughs> in my <laughs> life. Like, I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can do much better than this. I'm so I'm so happy with it. If I could retire off this, I would. <laughs> it's it's kind of weird because like when I'm watching the show, first of all, I, I didn't watch the show sequentially. Unfortunately, I started uh, watching about halfway through, and now yeah. I watch it. I PDR it every time it's on, and I try to make sure I can catch. Like, I don't know if I've seen every episode. Right. I hope I have, but um, but I've just been. Uh, I think really we really find our feet like halfway through. Yeah, every series, it's a little bit of growing pain. Yeah, but I think if you watch it halfway through, that's probably when we were starting to really go. This is. We're, we're understanding what the actors are doing and everybody's sort of getting into that rhythm. But, sorry, you were going to... Yeah, I, I don't even know where I was really going with that but besides saying that I just, I'm absolutely in love with the show and yeah. I think it's great and I just... Thank you. Wondering what what we can do to make it, to, to open people's eyes to it because that's God, the biggest challenge. Yeah, no, um, I mean, people just need to watch it. I mean, the critical praise is there. Uh, it's it's been phenomenally accepted that way. It's just it's just getting the word out there. You know, city's a, a, a small smaller broadcaster, so we just we just need people to watch. And and city is so behind it, and and uh, they should be so positive about the show. Like they're saying, like this is the kind of show they wanted to brand their network with. You know, as an sort of iconic city show, and that I mean that's kind of humbling right there. But uh, so we just hope people will, will watch. And 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 there seems to be. Uh, there seems to be a growth to it. It's it's slow, but every, it seems to be getting bigger. Like more and more people talk about it, and in the industry, like people are talking about it too. It's uh, it's, it's it's one of the shows people want to work on. And like that. So that's that's nice. That's a that's a big compliment. Oh, when you look at Fox, uh, what what were they before Married with Children? Right. I mean, they nobody even it's watched true. Fox, and it took one Married really children, good and then all the show, and, and they were just edgy. They just put out whatever they wanted to. And, you guys need to go more edgy. Well, it's, You're already we're, pretty we're, edgy, yeah, though. We're pretty edgy. I mean, it depends what you define as edgy. I mean, yeah. we, you know, swear words. Yeah, we use them occasionally. I mean, th- I mean, there's one episode that that features like some some blue language, but we we don't. It's not that's not our intention. I mean, but we just it's our intention to let the stories let the stories go organically wherever they want to go, and uh, and hopefully and that's our creative process, and hopefully nothing will hinder that. Okay. And, 
<laughs> so, how much do you think you have in you? Like, how many seasons, really? Uh, 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 honestly, enough enough to pay off my house. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Good answer. Thanks. Well, I'm definitely uh, I'm definitely pulling for you guys. Thanks for the time. Thank, thank you, and thank, thanks for all the support. Thank you.